was for entertainment purposes only. And if you want true legal advice, contact your own lawyer. It's time to play Case or No Case. Yay! And now, Case or No Case, for this hour of Radio Law Talk, I take you, if I may, to Eugene, Oregon, where a man there had apparently a bad habit or two, according to authorities. He was a rascally character who liked to get in fights with people. And then one Saturday, he decided to drive at five miles an hour to an Oregon State football game down at Autzen Stadium. I mean, all the way to his house, from his house in Eugene to the stadium. And apparently he lived out in the suburbs. It was five miles an hour, caused a massive traffic delay. But the man just didn't care. Police finally found the reason for the delay. They pulled the guy over. They arrested him. He has to be released from custody as quickly as possible. And the police decided that his odd behavior made him eligible to be placed on a mental health hold pending a determination of mental competence. The police said his strange behavior habits merited a possible placement in a facility even so he could get his head screwed back on straight. The man sought legal counsel on the matter saying he was a weirdo all right, but he was not crazy. And, and I'm not saying that to be pejorative to people with mental illness. I'm just asking you case or no case and mr kunin you put five points up you're the guy that's trailing in this deal case or no case you know the first question i have on this is i get him traveling at five miles per hour it wasn't by traffic it was his choice i i, I know i know okay. he's traveling at five clear. miles yeah. per hour yeah. and they say that causes a traffic delay and my thought is do, what did they don't have anything more than a two-lane road <laughs> fights in bars and so on. It was a pretty aggressive fellow, apparently. For those of you who are Van Halen fans, this is going to be, how does Todd get Van Halen into hey, where's this? Where's the reference? Or so, Sammy Hagar. So, oh, love Sammy Hagar. But, and, I can't and, drive. And, and this is a Sammy Hagar reference to the Sammy Hagar days of Van Halen. Um, the first album released is 5150. Eddie Van Halen's home recording studio is 5150. And for those that don't know, 5150 is the health and safety code in... California that allows for somebody to be taken into custody for a mental health evaluation. And Sammy Hagar, I can't drive 55. Yes, or five. Um, yeah. Yes. So, so this is a legit. In California, it's 5150 of the code, and in Oregon, I would imagine they have something similar. I would be surprised if it was 5150. But I am going to say that because of this, and because of his past history, and the fact that he was driving the way that he was, and they could point to no other source of impairment, that law enforcement, out of an abundance of caution, was justified in taking him in and that he prevail or that the law enforcement prevails on the viability of taking him into um, custody. protective custody for mental health evaluation. All right, for an, for an MAG. So, Mr. Penny, what are your thoughts? That's case, great. Case? I love it when the criminal law lawyer goes first yeah. and the personal injury lawyer guy has to go second because <laughs> I can just listen to what you say. But I do know one thing, that in most states, there are minimums that you have to drive. You can't just say, okay, that's 55 is the maximum. I'm going to drive 20. Nope. There, there, you can't do that, and there's there's certain rules and laws about that, and they can give you a ticket for going too slow, by the way, in most states. But I, I, I agree with Todd. There are most states have laws where you know there's a mental health issue or there's some issues that the police feel that uh, will harm themselves or others. They can take him into custody, and I'm dittoing him on this, and the police slash government wins on on that case. Mm, yes, Mr. Kuhn. One ahead. correction I want to make to my answer. I said it was 5150, the health and safety code. I apologize. It is 5150 of the welfare and institutions code in California for those who are fact checking my act. And there's also a 647F, which is a similar thing, right? 647F is the penal code that's being basically drunk in public. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Sure. Notice yeah. you guys know all these because, and Cal knows them because he's had those and the marijuana things. He knows yeah, about No, I, I, I would buy a new code book every year because when I listen yeah. to the scanner, when yeah. I was in the news biz. I yeah. wanted to know what they were talking That's about. That's what they all so. say, Kel. <laughs> yeah, they all yeah, say. yeah. So, all right. The question is. Donna, I'm just listening to. I just got the book because uh, I'm listening to the scanner. 
<laughs> well, what else am I going to tell her? <laughs> okay, Cal. All right, so now it's time for us to give the answer oh, to no. case or no case. Uh-oh. For those of you who say this is a case... We're raising our hands. You're right, it is. Yeah, it's okay. on. We nailed it. Okay. Wait a minute. Now, but now you'll want to hear the rest of the story. Oh, no. For those of you who say that the police prevail, may I see by a show of hands. Oh, how does he do that? So now, the court ruled that strange behavior is not even reason to detain or commit someone. They say there has to be the presumptive diagnosis of mental illness, or they have to be a clear danger to himself or others. And they said the five mile an hour thing was unsafe. I said that. But girl. it wasn't a clear danger to other people. And so each of you will get no points because the two right. and a half you would have gotten, I'm right. sad to say, cancels out the other. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is oh. case. Or no case. And now on to the rest of Radio Law Talk. That is... Go to the website, radiolawtalk.com. That's radiolawtalk.com.